Here we are on our fourth introductory video on pressure forces moments on a submerged horizontally symmetric plate. And in our previous videos, we found formulas for the resultant force on the plate. And the basic formula that always works is that the resultant force is the integral over the area of the plate times P on the plate, dA. And if there's no pressure on the liquid, then we can use this or this. And Hc is the depth from the liquid surface to the centroid. Remember, we don't have to worry about the x-coordinate of the centroid because it's horizontally symmetric. And keeping that discussion in mind, when we're looking for the center of pressure, we also do not need to know the x-coordinate because it's horizontally symmetric, so it's, it's on the vertical axis of symmetry. All we need to know is the depth from the liquid surface to the center of pressure. Now the basic formula for that is Hp minus the depth of the plate equal to 1 over Fr, where this is the resultant force, the integral over the plate, H minus D, that means you go down to where the plate starts, P dA. And if you remember from our previous video, we described H minus D using the variable eta. So eta is the depth from the top of the plate A down. Now, it is fairly straightforward to understand the resultant force on the plate. That's the force acting on the plate because of the liquid on the inside. So we're looking at uh, a tank on this side. This is our wall. And this is our plate here. And we understand what FR, that's the resultant force on this plate from the inside. The question is, can we find a point on which we can consider it to be acting? And that point is going to be our center of pressure. Then we can consider FR to be acting on that point. Now, what does it mean to be acting on that point? Let's suppose that we put a hinge on our gate. So let's look at a couple of situations here. Suppose we put the hinge at the bottom and we don't do anything else. We don't pressure it from the outside. The gate obviously will open from the top from this resultant force. Open. If we put the hinge at the top, it will open at the bottom. Bzz, opens up. The question is, where could we put the hinge where it would not open? And the answer is at the level of HP. So if we put the hinge here, the gate does not move. There is no moment of inertia around that hinge. So this is the point that we can consider that resultant force to be acting neutrally. So HP is coming from here, from the top, depth of the liquid surface to the center of pressure. Always the center of pressure will be below the centroid. Remember the centroid on a rectangle is halfway down. And let's just remember that D is the depth before the plate starts there. So that's how that works. So let's go try this formula on an actual problem. 